Hello everybody, it's Shaleen of the Coloring Book Nook and today is Mukbang Monday. This is a whole serving. So tonight's recipe is cheesy bacon and broccoli chicken and it's from my new book. I just bought this the other day. It came in the mail from Amazon. I will put the link down below. This is the easy five ingredient ketogenic diet cookbook. So it has two chicken breasts, pink Himalayan salt, four bacon slices, six ounces, six ounces cream cheese, two cups frozen broccoli thawed out, and a half a cup shredded cheddar cheese. And it serves two. So I will either take the rest of it tomorrow for my lunch or have it for a leftover night. Oh my gosh, so good. It looks so good. I haven't tried it yet. So I got broccoli with some chicken. Mmm. It's good. So you cook the bacon, you get a pan, you put the two chicken breasts in it with four slices of bacon and you bake it for like half an hour. It's so good. I can taste the bacon, I can taste the cheese and the chicken. So you bake that for half an hour and then you set your bacon on paper towel so it'll crisp up and you shred the chicken. And then you mix everything in a bowl and bake it again for another half, 35 minutes. Those are really good. Mm. So I've been doing really good with my keto. I bought heavy cream, a couple things of heavy cream because I need that for some of my recipes. And I bought a thing of cocoa powder out of 100% keiko. Mm. She could try this. So, my numbers are starting come to come down with my diabetes. They're still not where they're supposed to be, but they are coming down. Broccoli. I also now walk for 30 minutes in the mornings. I either walk in place while reading, listening to an audiobook, or watching YouTube videos because it's way too hot to be outside. And this is one servant. What it, what I cooked up said it was for two servants. I'm like, really? Because there's a lot of food there. Mm. And my doctor did approve me doing keto. He says, yes, it's very good. I said, but it's got fat in it, which has a lot of cholesterol. And he said, yeah, but your body starts eating up the fat instead of the carbs. Then you lose weight, and when you lose weight, your cholesterol will drop. I said, okay. So, I went shopping. Actually, Scott took me shopping. I have a, I need work done on my brakes. And where I go grocery shopping is like 25 minutes away because I don't like my local grocery store. I like Wegmans. I hate Tops.
Plus, we were going to Walmart as well, which is across the road from Wegmans. So, the fruit I'm allowed to have are berries, lemons, limes, and avocado. So, I got all that. Um, what else? Of course, broccoli and cauliflower for vegetables. Zucchini, I got grape tomatoes, cucumbers, and gr a green pepper and a red pepper, and spinach. Mm. I will be making this again, and Scott would eat this too. I think he would really like this. I don't tell, I, mm, the taste, I, I, I take a mouthful and I can taste like everything. And I never used to salt my food, but they said that I need to salt my food because I'm not getting the carbs and the carbs has a lot of salt, whereas the protein doesn't. And a lot of this other stuff does not have the salt in it. And they recommended Himalayan pink salt. And so all the recipes call for that. So I bought it. And I don't really taste a big difference in it. Want a piece of broccoli? Mm. So yeah, I walk in the mornings in place. And then at night like and around seven o'clock I will dance for half an hour there's some chicken and there's some bacon on there and cheese mm. so I bought a ham steak bacon and breakfast sausage so every morning my breakfast is a little different. I always have eggs. I love eggs. I love scrambled eggs and omelets. So like this morning, I had taken a little bit of the ham steak and I chopped it up. And I put that in the frying pan with some olive oil because you have to have olive oil. you got to add the fats in good fat. Um, what else did I put in? I had ham. A little bit of green pepper, a little bit of red pepper. Mushrooms. And then the eggs. And a little bit of shredded cheese. And half half an avocado. That was my breakfast. And I ate at like 8.30. And I had a cup of coffee and I wanted to see what my numbers would be putting in my creamer. Because I had enough creamer left for like two cups of coffee. So my sugar was a little high. I waited till after breakfast. You're supposed to wait like two hours from the time you start eating to check your sugar and it was a little high so I said okay it's the creamer. Last night I tried my coffee with heavy cream and I added cocoa in with it. And it was good. My mom adds and her she does she's not a big coffee drinker but she does have it once in a while and she adds in the, I know it sounds gross, but everybody says it's really good. She puts in a pad of butter until it melts and a little bit of cinnamon. So I have to try that next. Butter sounds really gross in coffee. I'm sorry. I will try it though. Mm. And for lunch, I had a salad, 
so it was baby spinach, some crab meat, great tomatoes, a mini cucumber, and some olives with Italian dressing. And I took my sugar, I checked my sugar after lunch, the two hours from the time I started eating, and my numbers dropped dramatically. I'm still not where I'm supposed to be, but it's so, so close. So right now, it's 5.36. I will. I probably started eating. It was probably like 5.25. So at 7.25, I will take my... I will check my sugar again. I don't normally do it three times a day, four times a day. I, use, I will probably start doing it once a day. But for now, I'm trying to see what's triggering it. Hmm. And the other day it was high after I had lunch. And for lunch I had cottage cheese with raspberries in it, sunflower seeds, and half an avocado. So I'm thinking the berries did it. I'm hoping not because I love my fruit. And I'm trying to be really, really good. So last week I did really good when I started doing the walking in the morning and the dance at night and I gained a pound. I'm like, what the hell? That's just not right. That's very discouraging. Some more chicken with cream cheese. Mm. And you don't mix anything else. It's just cream cheese, chicken, broccoli bacon and cheese. No milk. Nothing out. So good. Mm. So, y'all have to bear with me for the next couple weeks. My PC, which is my gaming PC, and that I put all my videos on, and upload to YouTube, hard drive went in it. I'm not happy. So I got all the guy that built it for me, and he's going to come out this week and check it. Dylan was looking at it. And I don't know what happened. There's some broccoli and some chicken and some bacon. So, hold on. They hung up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm getting my steps in. I told him. I told my doctor, I said, I know you're supposed to get in 10,000 steps, and I don't. I said, I usually get two, maybe 3,000. I told him, I read, I color, I watch videos, I got to find a way to fit in my exercising. And since I love to dance, it doesn't hurt my joints or anything. So, lately I've been getting in almost 5,000 steps, and he told me to try to get 3,000, so. This was so good. So today I vacuumed all the furniture, 
I put the wand on the vacuum cleaner and did along the walls. Been doing laundry, made a couple videos, been reading. Got in my walking. Mm. I got a lot accomplished today that I wanted to. I wanted to make three more videos, but I don't think that's going to happen. And it's very hot and humid. I was dying out in the kitchen because I had, I had to bake this stuff. It's horrible in my kitchen. And I had to shred the chicken, so I was standing at the counter, and the sweat's just pouring off my face. Now I already took a shower. Okay, last mouthful. Mmm. Done. This is cheesy bacon and broccoli chicken. And I will put the link down below for this. I got this off of Amazon. So just bear with me for the next week or two. You know, I'm trying to, I'm going to, I'm using my old laptop. I have not sent it to Frashan yet. And I am going to use that for uploading my videos. I don't want to use my new laptop. I don't want to put a lot of stuff onto my new laptop. So I'm going to just, everything's already on my other laptop, so I can just upload. But that is it for today. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know what you were eating while you were watching me, and I will talk to you all later. And again, I am Shaleen of the Color in Book Nook. And I'll get you a close-up of this this is the cookbook.